Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Boston Nuts RC. My name is Pernell. Um, uh, I'm back with another car to show you. Uh, but thank you all for the likes, the comments, um, for all the new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are finding the content useful, interesting, whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, I'm back with another one. Um, check this out. There you go. So this is the Homitech NXT GP 2.0 Spirit. It's a long name, um, but yeah, here it is. So this car, as far as I understand, is designed in France, uh, probably made in China. Um, I think it has a lot of detail, a lot of potential. That's why I got it. So if you're looking to get into a 1.8 buggy, nitro buggy, and uh, you don't want to go with the usual brands, this might be for you. It looks pretty awesome. So. We are going to look at the car here on the table. We're gonna break it in and then we're gonna run it and see, see how it does. So let's get to it. Okay guys, here we have it. Um, unfortunately, I'm having to record this again. Uh, my first file, uh, the first video, the file got corrupted. So I'm doing this again um, after I already uh, ran the car and whatnot. But let's talk about the car. Um, first of all, transmitter, um, pretty cheap. Probably the cheapest transmitter I've seen on a ready to run at this price point. Even the wheel is all plastic. Um, the trigger, the forward part is, is awful. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, um, it does the job. Here it is. That's included in the package, of course. Owner's manual and decals are all in there. You also get the battery for the receiver which is nice that they included this. And that's all you get, nothing else. Um, now the car itself, pretty good looking, honestly. Uh, the, the body and the graphics are done by uh, BD Design, so it's pretty nice. I actually like it a lot. Uh, also the wing graphics, the decals, pretty nice. It's a very good looking um, buggy. Uh, as you can see, you get full metal uh, shocks. They're 16 millimeters, um, very nice and smooth threads on the shocks. Um, very nice car. There's a lot of detail. There we go. All right, so there's the car. Uh, well, like I said, there's a lot of detail. Um, we have pretty thick um, shock towers. They're four millimeters, and I think it's the same for the servo tray, which is also aluminum. Uh, so it is pretty stiff. You get your um, your provision here for your digital switch or transponder. You can put one on the top and one on the bottom. Um, battery box, uh, pretty small, like uh, I mentioned at the end of the video. You're gonna see that. Um, uh, short antenna, very nice design. They're good servos. Uh, the servos, um, they're kind of quiet. They're waterproof. Um, um, I I did like him. Um, the fuel tank seems kind of big. I don't know what size it is. It don't, doesn't specify. Um, but it's pretty. It's kind of look like low profile. I did like that. From there we have um, you know we have the center diff with, with dual brakes. Uh, the top plate is also aluminum, pretty thick, as you can see. Maybe you can appreciate it. Um, it's also probably about four millimeters. So they um, they made this car pretty beefy. There's the wheels. Um, very nice uh, little detail touch on the on the wheel nuts. <clears throat> this is a pillow ball car. This is pretty nice. We have these metal pieces here um, to strengthen like strengthen the suspension and the steering a lot. Adjustable tie rods. The suspension, the steering rack is um, aluminum. The top plate is all plastic. So is the servo saver which is adjustable, you can see down there maybe the knot. Yeah, there's a lot of adjustment, uh, beefy control arms. This company, like uh, I mentioned uh, at the end of the video, um, it is a French company. They say their products are French, but I don't know if just French designed and then manufacturing in China, who knows. Nevertheless, it's a pretty nice buggy. There's a lot of detail, a lot of quality. Yeah, I think it's, you know, I will say it's my second choice out there. Um, but I said that at the end of the video too. Um, you're gonna see that. Um, the engine, we have a force engine, 21. Uh, pretty nice exhaust, pull start, two needle carb. 
So you have your high speed and your low speed on the other side. You have your idle screw and that's about it. Uh, the drivetrain is pretty quiet. I like that. You have your uh, motor guards here in the back. Um, sway bar is pretty thick front and rear. Yeah, it is, it's, it's pretty well put together. Um, the wing is adjustable. There's a lot of adjustment on the shock towers, oops, on the hops. Um, your top links are pretty beefy. They did a great job. I honestly didn't know much about this company uh, until I got this thing. I started like researching on their website and um, they make pretty good stuff. So I ended up getting this to uh, show it to you guys. I found this guy, it looked really promising, you know, pretty well made, very, very thick drive shafts you know and the stevie shafts they're also pretty pretty thick um you get your chassis braces they're pretty thick pieces of plastic not aluminum yeah i i, I think it's pretty good quality um now of course um with that said um you know you're buying this and it's coming from overseas i also said that at the end of the video um sorry like i said i'm recording this again since the the original file got corrupted but um it is what it is so uh i got this one and it came from australia got it in like two weeks um but yeah i mean it's beautiful honestly lots of quality um adjustable differentials oil field of course uh that's front center and rear um there's some detail here on the chassis on the bottom nxt gp uh it's a very I mean, it's a pretty thick uh, aluminum plate um, the tires are pretty good they do work very like very well on um, you know dirt and grass and gravel and whatnot uh, I did enjoy um, uh, playing with this car uh, like I said uh, I think it's gonna be my my second favorite so um, with all that said now you guys can go ahead and take a look at the car running I'm gonna show you the car uh, a little bit during break-in and then uh, driving it around I think it's a great choice if you're trying to get into uh, you know the 8 scale nitro segment on a ready to run um, you don't want to quite make the the jump to a kit this is another great option aside from the the serpent SRX8 excellent car let's go ahead and uh, uh, do the rest <laughs> Okay guys, so this this video is probably like all over the place. Um, I had to record different things multiple times. I got some corrupted files. I don't know what happened, but um, so if you feel like this is all over the place, it is, and I'm sorry. Um, anyway, let's get to the bottom line and the final thoughts on this car. Um, I think it is great overall. Like I said multiple times, um, very good quality lots of good detail looks great it is fast there's really no negatives about it um other than two little things and that's gonna be the battery box was pretty annoying it is super tight it is way too small for the damn battery and you can spend about 10-15 minutes trying to get the battery in there i don't understand the the purpose on that i mean it could have been two millimeters bigger <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, the battery box was kind of a, an annoyance. The transmitter is um, extremely cheap. I mean, for something that is 460 bucks, um, you know, if you compare it to 
the Serpent or uh, Kyosho, they have better transmitters. This one is just downright um, junk, um, but it works. So here's an upgrade that you can do down the road um, if you don't already have a good um, transmitter. So there's those two things. I did, uh, I did a lot of research. There is a lot of um, support um, from Hobby Tech. You can find a lot of replacement parts, basically everything you need, everything is available. Uh, but not only that, they have a lot of option parts for this. Um, from You can change the cooling heads for different styles that they have. Um, there's scavron fiber pieces, there's aluminum pieces, there's different clutches and flywheels. They have a racing engine without the pull start, you name it. They have the servo horns in aluminum, everything. They, they have everything, uh, different shocks. They're very nice, by the way. The only downside to this company is that I don't think there's a dealer in the US. So um, when I got this car, I waited about one and a half, two weeks to get it. So that's probably what you're gonna wait if you want to get um, spare parts, right? I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind the wait. It is a very nice car. The Force engine, it is a three port, 21. It has, you know, it makes plenty of power. It's pretty decent, um, pretty nice shocks. It's very stable, uh, very well balanced, even when it's in the air. It is very easy to control. I think they did a great job. And uh, in my opinion, it's probably the second place from the eight scale buggies, nitro buggies, ready to run. I'd say the Serpent is in first place. This will be in second. Just down right to, to the quality and the, the, the detail that they put into this thing. So great car. Um, thank you for watching. And I'm sorry the video was a little bit um, all over the place. Uh, it was a nightmare to record this one. I don't know why. So. Um, uh, thank you all for your likes, the comments, the subscribers. Thank you for the support. Uh, I hope you continue to watch the videos and uh, I will be back soon with more. I think I already have three videos lined up. So it's gonna be the WR8, like I said. Uh, I modified the crap out of it, so I think it's worth making another video on it. Then we're gonna do another eight scale buggy, but it's a kit, I'm just waiting to get it and we're gonna do, uh, do another video on uh, ready to run. So uh, thank you again guys and uh, I'll see you next time.